Top 10 Unsolved Cases That Were Recently Solved To know the top 10 unsolved yet recently solved cases, keep watching. But before that, smash the like and subscribe button. Let's dig in. Number 10. The Shooting Death of Roy McCaleb A confession led to the conclusion of the murder of Roy McCaleb. He died in 1985 from a gunshot wound in Houston. Carolyn Sue Crisan Wilson said she shot him and that his death was not the result of a shooter who molested her and then shot him while leaving the residence, as she had previously claimed. In reality, she was charged with his murder in 2008, but a court dropped the charges. According to the Houston Chronicle, a court of appeals restored the murder charge and she chose to confess this time. Number 9. The Murder of Anna Palmer According to KSL.com, DNA evidence led to a verdict in the 1998 homicide of 10-year-old Anna Palmer, who was beaten and killed outside her front door in Salt Lake City. The killing was terrible. However, forensic experts were brought in to help with the investigation in 2009. They checked for fingernail DNA that did not belong to the girl and matched it to a man called Matthew Brock, who lived a block away at the time of her death. Brock was already serving a 10-year term for a sex-related act with a minor. Then he pled guilty to the killing of Anna Palmer in 2011 and is now serving a life sentence. Number 8. The Murder of Patricia Beard Patricia Beard's strangling death in her studio apartment in Denver in 1981 had become the 100th rape or murder solved by the Denver Cold Case team in July of this year. Beard was mentally disabled at the time and she was discovered half-dressed and lifeless on her bed. DNA testing from a post-mortem murder scene kit was found in 2011 and put into a database, but they did not discover a match until this year. Charges were filed against Hector Bencomo Hinoyos of Pennsylvania due to that match. Bencomo Hinoyos is now facing first-degree murder accusations. Number 7. The Murder of Maria Riddolf A 72-year-old security officer Jack McCullough was charged for the crime 55 years after 7-year-old Maria Riddolf was kidnapped off the streets of Sycamore, Illinois and discovered strangled and stabbed to death. According to the Huffington Post, it wasn't forensic evidence that prompted authorities to reinvestigate McCullough as a possible suspect. McCullough was one of roughly 100 possible suspects. His mother had confirmed his location. Authorities reinvestigated McCullough and he was later sentenced to life imprisonment for the killing in 2012. Number 6. The Murders of Three Prostitutes Donna Perry was charged with three counts of first-degree murder at the end of October 2013 for reportedly shooting three prostitutes with a 22 caliber revolver in Spokane, Washington in 1990. The deaths of all three women were assumed to be connected at the time of the killings, but the connection wasn't revealed. Perry, born Douglas Perry before undergoing a sex change in 1990, was arrested in 2012 on federal counts of illegal guns possession. The inquiry into the three women's killings was reopened in 2005, with DNA evidence provided in 2009, which finally matched Perry. Number 5. The Murder of Sarah Lynn Wineski Unfortunately, the investigation may not receive as much attention when a homeless individual dies. It was not the case with Sarah Lynn Wineski. A transient was discovered killed and raped outside a Ronald McDonald house in 2005. Screams were heard at 11 p.m. on May 21, 2005, but her body was not found until the next day under a balcony behind the house. The DNA evidence was taken at the site. When it was connected to Raymond Samuels, he was jailed in Ohio in 2006 for killing and abduction. Number 4. The Murder of Raina Risen Raina Risen went missing in 1993 at the age of 16, only to be discovered killed a month later in the Indiana Lake by a fisherman. The case was judged a homicide and shown on America's Most Wanted in 1993. It remained unresolved, but then her former lover, Jason Tibbs, was arrested. Prosecutors accused Tibbs in August of strangling her to death after an incident about the two of them getting back together. Eric Freeman claimed in July 2013 that he witnessed Tibbs strangle Ryzen and subsequently help him in disposing her lifeless body in the pond. Number 3. The Death of Pamela Shelley 
Pamela Shelley died en route to the hospital in 2001 after being found with a gunshot wound at her Texas home with her boyfriend. She had recently divorced her husband and relocated with her two kids from Arkansas to Texas. According to the Victoria Advocate, investigators initially deemed her death a suicide, but the case was reopened seven years later at the request of investigator Carl Bowen. Enough evidence was finally gathered to charge Hendrick in October of 2012, with a trial scheduled for September 2013. Number 2. Disappearance of Sherry Miller and Pam Jackson An attentive fisherman may have aided in resolving this cold case, which had been unsolved since 1971. Sherry Miller and Pam Jackson went missing in 1960 while traveling on country roads to a party at a gravel mine in a 1960 Studebaker Lark. A fisherman along the state's Brule Creek found an automobile buried upside down in the water in September 2013, and the decomposed bodies were believed to be theirs. Number 1. The Murder of Crystal Bezlanowicz A dedicated officer who was the initial investigator in the murder of Crystal Bezlanowicz in Utah 18 years ago aided in bringing this case to a close. According to the Huffington Post, Sheriff Todd Bonner simply couldn't let the matter go. Bezlanowicz died at the age of 17 from a crushing blow to the head. Her body, that of a prostitute, was discovered in 1995 near the Provo River. Inquiries at the time only led to dead ends, but detectives eventually got somewhere in 2013 with the help of DNA. It matched Joseph Michael, a bus driver in the region. So did you enjoy the video? If you did, smash the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.